Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Noemi, and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to stay fit in quarantine. My name's Noemi, and welcome to my channel. I'm a personal trainer who likes to live life to the fullest while working up a sweat and traveling the world. Subscribe to keep up with my latest videos. channel like I said in today's video I'm gonna share with you tips on how to stay fit in quarantine now I don't know why but I just kind of wanted to dress up like Rosie the Riveter for this video she just kept coming to mind when I was generating ideas for this video and so here I am kind of dressed up like Rosie the Riveter um, as you can tell I'm sure from my thumbnail I didn't have a red bandana so I improvised with um, the tank top that I actually was wearing when I was generating ideas for this um, video so I'm wearing a tank top as a handkerchief or as a bandana just to kind of mirror the image of Rosie the Riveter. Anyways, um, so the ideas that I have for you guys, they're going to be in three different, they're going to fall into three different categories. So physically, mentally, and emotionally. So I'm going to share five tips for each on how to stay fit in quarantine. So first, physically. Now physically, first and foremost, I want to say hydrate drink water. I know so many people are drinking alcohol, they're um, drinking juices and lemonades and teas and all these other things, coffee, energy drinks and whatnot, and just stay hydrated. Drink water. You'd be surprised by how dehydrated you really are. A lot of people mix the signals for dehydration and hunger a lot, so instead of going for the junk food, drink a glass of water instead. Stay hydrated. So that's the first um, tip that I have for you is stay hydrated. The second is to eat healthy. Now I know a lot of people are gonna start, you know, emotionally eating or you know have emotional ties to when it comes to food or when you go grocery shopping you're gonna want to go and grab the junk food or that may be all that's left but if you can eat healthy you know grab nutrient dense foods at the grocery store that'll make you feel fuller for longer and just eat healthy you don't have to you know pick out on junk food while you're in quarantine the next tip that I have for you is to work out. So there are so many free workouts that are being advertised all over the place. So many influencers are just sharing free workouts that you can do from home with equipment, with limited equipment, without equipment. So definitely, you know, use them as resources. You can work out from home. You don't have to be in a gym setting in order to work out. Let's see what else? Sleep. So sorry, I have a notebook here with the tips, so I make sure I hit everything. But um, sleep. So catch up on sleep. There's so many times where I was tired and exhausted and I didn't listen to my body and I just felt overworked that when I did take the time to rest and sleep, I felt refreshed and rejuvenated and I was able to look at things with a clearer mind. I was able to focus more. So catch up on sleep. Take this time to catch up on sleep. You don't normally get, you know, eight to nine hours of sleep. Get back into like a routine or, you know, set a schedule that you can, um, you know, stick to in order to get enough sleep at night. So that's another one. And then go outside. Yes, we're in quarantine, you know, we're, you know, social distancing, we're self-isolating in our homes, but that doesn't mean that you can't go outside. I know for some of you, you might not be able to, but if you can take a walk outside, get some fresh air, you know, get some steps in. That's a great way to increase your NEAT levels, your non-exercise activity by taking a walk around your neighborhood. The inside loop of my neighborhood is a mile. So I'll walk that once or twice a day. So definitely take advantage of going outside. You don't have to sit outside the entire time. That is if you know, you're allowed to go outside. So those are my tips for staying physically fit. So you wanna hydrate, you wanna eat healthy, you wanna work out, you wanna sleep, and you wanna go outside. Now as far as mentally being fit, you wanna read, read a book. I love reading books. Um, there was a time where I didn't like reading books when I was in school, just because I was studying for exams that I just stopped reading for pleasure. And it wasn't only until a couple years after I graduated that I started to read books again. So read, um, I just recently downloaded um, Kindle Unlimited, which they have a 30 day trial. So I'm trying that trial out and I've been able to read two to three books so far in just two weeks. Um, listen to a podcast. There are so many podcasts that I like to listen to while I'm driving or while I'm cleaning or you know organizing things around the house. Podcasts are a great way to just kind of get your mind thinking outside the box. Um, or you could take a course. I recently took the NASA Mental Toughness course that they were giving for free and I got 0.4 credits towards my personal training certification. So take a course. 
or play a game. You know, I know a lot of people like playing PS4, Xbox. I like doing puzzles. I also have a um, Wii that, you know, ha and I have a couple of fitness and like dance games that I can do with the Wii. So play a game, play a board game <laughs> with your family and friends. And then also another thing for mentally is to limit how much news you guys are consuming. So I know that it's important to stay informed and to know what's going on, but there's gotta be a point where you're all up to date. You don't need to be listening to the news for hours on end or checking all the updates or tweets or you know what everyone is saying about what all that's going on. So definitely limit the news that you're consuming. Spend time alone, which you may already be spending time alone, but I spend time alone a lot because I do live alone aside from my cat Oliver and there's so much that you learn about yourself when you're alone and there's so many things that you can marinate and think about when you're alone. So if you're normally, if you normally have a very busy schedule where you don't ever really spend time alone, take this advantage of spending time alone, getting to know yourself better, you know, getting to figure out what your triggers are, what you like, what you don't like, things like that. So take advantage of the fact that you are, you have this opportunity to spend time alone. Another thing is call your friends and family. So I've been calling my friends and family, not only just over the phone and text messaging, I've also taken advantage of video calling my friends and family. Um, I have friends that have iPhones, so I'll use the FaceTime app, or my mom, she doesn't have an iPhone, so I actually video call her through um, Facebook Messenger, where there's even WhatsApp. There's so many apps out there and so many ways that you can get in contact with your friends and family nowadays. Definitely take the time to reach out to your family and friends, even someone that you haven't reached out to in a long time. Like, you don't know if they're by themselves, if they have anyone to talk to. Just reach out and say hi. Say, hey, hope you're doing well. Like, there's no harm in doing that. So definitely catch up with your family and friends. Um, this next tip I have for you mentally is to play with your pet. So I know that most people do have animals, or I don't want to say most people do have animals, but if you do have a pet or animal in the house, Spend time with it, give it affection, give it attention. I know so many times our pets, you know, kind of take the back seat, if you will, um, to our lives and we don't really recognize the, you know, acknowledge the fact that they're there besides when we take them out for walks and when we feed them. So definitely take the time to play with your animals, engage with them, play with the toys that you usually buy them, buy for them and just, yeah, engage with your animal. It's like, I don't know, I get so much laughter out of watching my cat do so many things. Like Oliver, he's such a trip and just, he's so playful. He's so sneaky and conniving. Like he likes to wait until I walk by and then he swats my calves. Um, so just play with your animals. You know, if you do have an animal, um, definitely take advantage of the fact that you're home and you get to spend time with them because they do spend a lot of time alone when we're away. You know, whether we're out and about just being busy, if we're at work or whatnot. And so, also spend time with your significant other. So this is a great time for you and your significant other to reconnect, spend time with each other, have conversations. Don't just like zone out in front of the TV. Um, maybe plan your next trip, you know, um, go over your finances, like, you know, go over your life goals, what have you, but spend time with your significant other, like give them your undivided attention and just spend time with them. And then another thing that I have is self-care. Um, I know that a lot of things you know, come first before ourselves. And so this is a great time for us to kind of adopt self-care routines or catch up on things that you normally don't have time to do, like whether it's meditating or taking a bubble bath or I don't know, like doing your nails, doing your hair and just take care of yourself. You know, do something that makes you feel good as far as self-care is concerned. And so those are all my tips for how to stay fit physically, mentally, and emotionally. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video by giving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Until next time, bye guys.